Windy Bill was a Texas man, and he could rope you bet. The steer that Windy couldn't tie, well, he had not fought him yet. But the boys talked of a little black steer was a kind of a bad outlaw. He lives way down in the bottoms at the foot of a rocky draw. This old black steer had held his ground with punchers from everywhere. So the boys bet Windy two to one that he could not quite get there. And Windy busts out this old roan horse and his withers and back were raw. And sets out to tackle that little black brute that lives down in the draw. Wow. This Sam Slick tree brasses, bits his shafts and taps to boot. His old McGee tied hard and fast, Bill goes to tackle the brute. And that little roan horse, he sauntered around and the steer began to paw. Then he stuck his tail straight up in the air and they hitched down through the draw. Ah! Well, when his horse went after him just like he'd been eating corn. And when he stuck that old McGee right around the black steer's horn. And then the little roan horse, he shut it right down in the cinches, bust like straw. And old McGee with the Sam Slick tree went drifting down the draw. face and hands are scratched. He said he could always rope and steer, but he guessed he'd met his match. And he takes his bets like a little old man without no bit of jaw. And a loud old black steer was the boss of everything in the draw. Now the moral of this story, boys, is very plain to see. When you go out to rope your steer, don't tie hard your McGee. But you take your dallies like a man to the California law. And you won't see your old empire go drifting down and draw. Ha, ha, ha.